<sighs> 11 days. <clears throat> We've got 11 days, people, till Smallville returns. Um, season 10 premiere, Lazarus uh, is where it all kicks off. Um, so I'm just doing this video to sort of, you know, get people really pumped up and excited. Um, I know that last week the CW, <laughs> for a lot of you fans out there, finally released some, uh, you know, promos. And um, for me personally, they weren't really, you know, promos. They were like three second snippets. Um, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, they were excellent snippets, but I was expecting a bit more, something a bit longer, you know, like we normally get a 20 second um, promo, especially after every episode as well, um, or at least during a, another show, which these promos were released during um, Nikita and um, Hellcats. So, um, you know, don't get me wrong, there's, some of these promos do look awesome. I mean, there's one where we've got the... The, the, the suit, um, which is still the Superman return suit from from when Brandon Routh wore it. Um, we've got the uh, scene of where the plane's going towards the, the Daily Planet, and you see the you know big blue red flying through it, uh, past it even. Um, we've got a clone of what appears to be Lex Luthor um, in some sort of containment. Um, jar kind of thing, a big huge container and basically just has the letters LX and the number 6 next to it and then you just see his eyes open. Um, there was also a little questions and answer thing that um, Erica Durant had, had done. Um, so yeah, I mean as I say, it's all it's all starting to come together. Um, we've also obviously got the official description from season for, for, for season 10. Um, uh, well, for, for the season premiere, pretty much anyway. Um, you know, it's 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 all coming together, but there are still some concerns. Um, we've got concerns of to how Clark is going to become Superman, how he's going to embrace his destiny, how he's going to get in touch with his alter ego a bit more. He's going to start wearing the glasses. Um, this season apparently has been described as the beginning of the end. Um, but not just that, it's where Clark has to face his past ghosts um, in order to become the hero that we all know and love. And in all fairness, I like the idea that they are bringing you know, old characters back. We know that Jonathan Kent's coming back, Kara's coming back, um, Lionel Luther's going to be coming back. Um, there has been a bit of speculation because um, over in the UK, just this weekend gone, um, there was a convention, I think, known as something Insurgents, something like that, and it's held every year. And um, Michael Rosenbaum was a guest star at this event, and um, someone interviewed him, and he actually did say that he's having or he's had talks, um, that he is thinking about coming back. And that if he was to come back, he'd wear a bald cap. So, who knows? Okay, but in regards to Michael Rosenbaum coming back as Lex Luthor, I would rather have that as a surprise in an episode than know about it in a spoiler. Because that, for me, would be the biggest surprise of season 10. Um, to have Rosenbaum back as Lex Luthor would be the biggest surprise. For season 10 because we know he's not been in since after season 7 um, so personally for me I don't want to see or hear or know of a spoiler that Lex Luthor is returning in the form of Michael Rosenbaum with a bald cap I would rather watch an episode and then something epic or dramatic happens and there he is Lex Luthor, Michael Rosenbaum and then I would be like that you know so that's what I want to happen um, who else do I want to see back obviously I want to see Lana come back just to finish that closure between her and Clark for her to see that Clark has finally moved on with Lois and just to you know just to have that closure um, Chloe obviously we know she's going to be back for five episodes I would like to see Pete Ross back as well because as I say it would be fitting for him to come back as well as Martha Kent um, you know, I know a lot of people want to see Perry White in there, but Michael McKean himself has said that um, 
he as yet is not returning to Smallville he's not been approached about it so there's still plenty of time to go because the other thing that I've noticed on Twitter and on the internet is a lot of the Smallville fans are getting so edgy yet you're forgetting that Smallville is going to be on until May next year okay we've still got a lot of episodes to go people anything can happen okay I know that everyone's expecting this and that to happen but you know the season has not even kicked off yet and already people are starting to get a bit you know angry they're getting doused they're getting a bit disappointed but we've still got a lot of time people don't forget that we're going to have breaks by Christmas and we might get another break sometime in February like we did in season 9 so they've got they they will still be some changes there will still be some things that they're going to switch around um, you know we may see Lex appear probably towards the end of the season and I would rather that he was in the last three episodes of the season to be fair um, we're obviously going to get Booster Gold Blue Beetle um, Rick Flag has been mentioned Deadshot um, Cat Grant as well um, Guy Godfrey and Faust as well no not, not Faust uh, Desaad so all these characters are all going to appear but it's how they're going to appear is what everyone's like Ugh, this that and the other so as I say, season 10 is definitely going to be the best yet. How it's going to play out, right now all I care about is just watching the episode and just seeing how Lazarus in particular is going to unfold and that is going to set the platform for the rest of the season. You know, obviously as, as the season goes on we're going to see certain things surprise us that we may not expect that we didn't see or read in a spoiler and that, that's the beauty of it. You know, we may get a lot of spoilers now but come the episode itself we're going to see things that we're, just, we're thinking, oh shit wow that just happened or this and that has just appeared or did he actually do that did she actually do that you know that's what I love about Smallville because yes we get spoilers released yes we get scoops yes we get this yes we get that but when you watch the episode itself it could be a whole different kettle of fish altogether at the end of the day I mean um, probably the biggest tease and I meant and I know that Krypton site mentioned this on his on, on Twitter was when season 5 in 100th episode Reckoning you know, um, the CW teased us with a clip showing Lana getting killed. You know, in a car crash. Now they did say that there's good. That there was two deaths in that episode. So when everybody saw the clip of Lana dying, they were thinking, well, if she's dead, who else is going to die? But then they played it so brilliantly by twisting it that Clark goes back in time to not tell Lana his secret to save her from dying. But as Jarrell told him there's a balance in the universe you might save one life but you go back and change fate someone else's life is going to be taken and it happened to be Jonathan Kent so anything can happen that's all I'm saying this is Smallville we know that certain things can happen we know that we want certain things to happen but it's how the producers and the writers are going to play it out how they're going to present the characters on screen um, you know, over the years, I've noticed that likes of Lana has been hated on, and more, most recently, obviously Chloe as well. But at the end of the day, it's how she's been written. It's how that character's been written. You know, Tom Welling might play Clark Kent brilliantly, but what's to say that they turn make his character into a complete douchebag? You know, and then then what's going to happen? Are the fans going to start hating on Tom Welling for the way he's playing Clark? No, because it's not how he's playing it it's how well it, it is it is how he's playing it but it's how the character is written you know that's why John Schneider for example this is why I love John Schneider so much is that he knows how his character should behave you know he has this idea in his mind that Jonathan Kent should be like this Jonathan Kent should be like that Jonathan Kent should say this or he shouldn't say that and yeah I remember in uh, one particular video on YouTube you know he talked about that extensively about how he got in trouble for changing the script or changing certain things that he shouldn't have done but he did it because in his mind that's how he felt the character should be portrayed and if all the other actors were like that Tom, Allison, Kristen I think for example Kristen would have made Lana a lot better than, than, than she was written I think Allison would have made Chloe and don't get me wrong I love Allison. I love Kristen um, but as I say it's how the characters have been written and however the characters are going to be written for season 10 again it's up to, it's down to the writers and the producers how these characters are portrayed yes the actors themselves are acting you know to, to, to what the characters are specified but it's the writers who put their minds in the characters shoes first and foremost 
and then they present the script to the to the actors and the actors are like okay so you want me to be like this about this character you know that's how you've got to look at it okay so anyway sorry for rambling as you know um, didn't expect it to be this long but September 24th people that's all I can say Friday September 24th um, <clears throat> one other thing I've got to say that I've got to I wouldn't I don't want to jinx it just yet but fingers crossed I may have a very 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 big announcement to make in the, in the next sort of we'll say couple of months okay um, but that's all I'm gonna say it's gonna be a huge first for me that's for sure um, someone did mention it to me they gave me this idea and I thought you know what let's do it let's give it a try you 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 make it happen and then I'll love you forever mate that's all I'm gonna say so fingers crossed the person who's watching this will know what I'm talking about so thank you very much and as always thank you all for watching goodbye